when I was young, that's all I wanted was a horse. And my uncle lived in Washington, Washington State, and we would go visit him about every three or four years. And he had horses, and he'd go off to work. I'd say, Uncle John, can I ride the horses? If you can catch them, you can ride them. I was 50 years old, and that's when I got my first horse. It took me that long to get one, but uh, I've been making up for it since then. It's a weird thing, because you, you don't think this way when you're young. But when you start feeling it in your body, not spiritually or mentally, but your, your muscles and bones are wearing out, you say, okay, I've got maybe 10 summers left in my life. So every summer, and when I can be up in the high country and be on my horse and be camping, I want to be there, and I'm not going to waste those years. I go to the high country alone, by myself, two weeks at a time. It's raw, it's wild. You're away from everything. You have to watch what you do. It's an adventure. Every trip, every day is an adventure. All these years are going by and I'm missing my grandkids and watching them grow up. And it's, you feel selfish, but it's like I've got my own life. I want to share it. I want to be with my children and grandchildren, but you go to the city and there's, you can't even go to the store to get a grocery. Somebody vibing you and tailgating you and it's like, Move faster, go fast, turn, stop, go. And it's like you're there for three or four days. It closes in on you and you can't relax. It's crazy. I always believed that God created the world, but he spent a lot more time up there. The first time we rode out of the, this drainage and got into the high country, it was like walking through a door. have to go up there and experience it. Then you get addicted. You've got to have it. I'm never afraid up there. If 
if I die up there, that's a beautiful place to die. If you need it, you go.